the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. This is Dan Jurgen. This is Jason J. Lewis, the voice of Superman on Justice League Action. This is Mark Wade, writer of Superman Birthright, and you're listening to The Krypton Report. The Krypton Report podcast is dedicated to all things Superman, Supergirl, and the planet Krypton. We discuss movies, TV, game, comics, and all things DC. So join me, Tyler, with my co-host James and Jania. Do you like movies? Of course you do. Do you like comic book movies? Of course you do. Well, our Patreon is launched now. It's a dollar a month. That's all we ask. One dollar a month to hear great content. And right now, one of the biggest things we're doing on our Patreon is movie commentaries. I am a movie person, and I love to talk about movies. So what we're doing is at least two movie commentaries a month. You'll hear the wonderful voice of my wife, Jania, more often. And other special shows. Check out our Patreon at kryptonreport.com slash Patreon. And all we ask is, hey, $1. It helps us keep the show on. We're not looking to get rich. We just help with the cost of doing this, and it helps a friend out. You loan a friend a dollar, you probably have a dollar lying around the house and change. So check out patreon.com slash kryptonreport. Sign up for the $1 a month and send us a message. You can be on the podcast. We can talk about something, anything you want to talk about. You can join us for a movie commentary. If you want so check it out. Happy belated Thanksgiving, everybody. <clears throat> this episode is coming a little bit late. It'll be a little bit short because if you can hear, I am losing my voice thanks to the weather and uh, having to talk a lot. Um, this is our monthly reflection on an actor or actress that has portrayed a prominent Kryptonian. And we're up to our first Supergirl. That's right. The lovely and awesome Helen Slater. Helen Slater, of course, played Supergirl in the Supergirl the movie. She is part of the legacy of Superman and has appeared in several other super-based properties. She played Lara, the mother of Clark Kent slash Kal-El in Smallville. And then she would go on to play Eliza Danvers in Supergirl. As the mother, adopted mother of Cara Danvers and the biological mother of Alex. So she has been all around the super world. And we just want to take our time to just honor and reflect on her. So without further ado, here's some information on Helen Slater. Helen Rachel Slater was born December 15th, 1963. She's an actress, singer, and songwriter. That's pretty cool. She has done films such as Ruthless People, The Secret to My Success, and City Slickers, which is an all-time best Billy Crystal movie. Not a huge Billy Crystal fan, but that is a good film. The second one is too. Slater was born in Bethpage, New York. She is Jewish. Her parents, Alice Joan, a lawyer and nuclear disarmament peace activist based in New York City, and Gerald Slater, a television ex- executive. Her parents divorced in 74. She has a brother, David, who is a lawyer in New York City. Slater attended Great Neck South High School and then transferred to High School of Performing Arts, which she graduated in 82. Which is pretty cool when you think about in 84, she starred in Supergirl. So that would have been a quick transition. Um, She is not related to Christian Slater. I never thought about that, but... I guess that's worth pointing out here because that is on her information. She has worked in stage plays. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, It's always neat when you hear about actors and actresses who you're like, wow, they haven't done a lot, but you find out that they've done a lot on the stage. Um, So that is pretty cool. She worked at, at the New York Theater Company. Uh, she co-founded w- with Gina Gershon. In 1991, she also co-founded with her husband, Robert Watsky, the L.A.-based theater group, The Bubble Aries. Slater appeared in two off-Broadway plays, Almost Romance and Responsible Parties. She also starred in The Big Deal at the Pasadena Playhouse. In, 20, in 2003, she released a CD, 
One of These Days, consisting of her original songs. The tracks were real-time recordings with Slater singing and playing piano, accompanied by six other musicians. No multi-track ed- editing or dubbing was employed, which is really awesome. So that is like releasing almost a live album. And if anyone knows anything about recording music, it's so interesting just how you can layer, dub, track, retrack, all kinds of stuff to give it that very polished uh, sound. And it's it's weird because sometimes I feel like it's disjointed in the music that you're creating. Um, but I digress. So I'm wondering if any of these are available on... Apple Music, because that's what I have, and it would be cool to kind of pop over and see these songs. Not going to lie, didn't think about it till just now. Um, in 1985, DC Comics named Slater as one of the honoraries in the company's 50th anniversary publication, 50, who made DC great for her work in the Supergirl film. In 2010, Slater wrote a Supergirl story titled A Hero's Journey, which appeared in the 50th issue of the fifth volume of the Supergirl comic book. So that would have been right before the New 52. And here's some memorable stuff here of her career. Let's dig in. In 2016, she was the voice of Martha Kent for DC Superhero Girls, Superhero High. Awesome. It's a great episode. I've watched that with Sayla. It's one of the Released the DVD videos. Um, let's see. She was on an episode of Mad Men as person to person as Sheila. The Young and the Restless. Drop Dead Diva. Private Practice. CSI New York in 2010. And then, of course, this one. And one of the creepiest episodes ever. In 2009, Supernatural. Episode The Family Remains. As Susan Carter. That's a creepy episode. It's a good one. I think that's season four. If I believe right. See Grey's Anatomy. In 2005. Boston Public. Will and Grace. And this was. I thought was cool. Because I didn't know this until I was reading. um, She was the voice of Talia. In Batman the Animated Series. So there's some more DC cred to her name. So she's played (laughs) Lara. She's played Martha Kent. She's played Eliza Danvers and Talia. So she's been a parental figure into multiple DC heroes. What's interesting is she actually gained over 20 pounds for the role of Supergirl in 84. So that's pretty cool. Um, And what's interesting is the premiere of Supergirl, she actually attended with Chris Reeve. And he was actually supposed to be a cameo in the film. um, But he bowed out later. And it's kind of sad. Because technically, DC did it first with the connective universe of Superman and Supergirl. Just saying... She was the first to audition for Supergirls, and the producers thought she was the strongest of all who auditioned. After months of callbacks and screen tests, she was cast. Her real hair color is brown. After dyeing it once for Supergirl, she kept it blonde for her future roles until she became a spokeswoman for uh, preference by L'Oreal. She can be seen with her natural hair and her feature work in the ABC After School special. She wrote a musical called Ugly Duckling, a take on the origin story. It was written for adults and centers around human characters. She is trying to get it published. She's best friend is Helen Hunt. So that's pretty cool if you think about it. Um, For someone who some people don't even think about when they're just like, oh, Supergirl. Okay. That TV show. No, there's there's a lot more history to the character and a lot more um, from Helen Slater. So it's it's nice that she is part and that she obviously must love DC Comics. So for this month of November, we talk Helen Slater. Keep your eyes posted and um, keep your ears out for our upcoming 
commentary on Supergirl the movie. It's going to be fun. It's going to be on our Patreon, and it's going to have some special guests. So, remember. If you enjoy Superman podcasting, here's some others to check out. Digging for Kryptonite, The Last Sons of Krypton, The Aspiring Kryptonian, that all comes back to Superman, Superman Forever, All-Star Superman Podcast, Superman the Animated Podcast, Always Hold On to Smallville, and Superboy Legacy Podcast. Check them out. Always a good time. Always something new. Enjoy. Look up in the sky. The Krypton Report is a Tears production. We thank you for listening and enjoying, and please support us on our Patreon account, our T Public store, and check out our social media. Always remember to look up in the sky.